All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna briefly show you how to use Rustic. Now, uh, if you want information on how to use this program, please go into go into that web page that has the Google search thing. Type in Rustic, hit enter. You'll get a bunch of results. Um, it'll take you to GitHub, things like that. Read up on it. If you don't know a little bit of Linux, you're gonna have a little bit of problems. Um, read the documentation and figure out how to install it. You are gonna need uh, Go. I believe it's version 1.6 or above, but anyways, just install the latest version of Go. Uh, and then uh, the obviously the Restic uh, program. Now, there's a couple things. So Restic, again, find out about it. What it does is basically it's, it's a backup software. It's uh, primarily in, intended use for Linux, but there is also Windows, a Windows binary that you can download or pre or compile on your own using Go. Um, it's a backup software that uh, creates repositories, but it also encrypts the data and saves uh, in snapshots. It also has the ability to do other things like you can browse the snapshots, you can mount the snapshots, uh, uh, as like a drive if you're using Linux. I don't know if it's supported in Windows. But anyways, it's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna be using it to back up my data to the DigitalOcean space. Um, uh, yeah, the DigitalOcean space subscription that I have. So what you're gonna to need to know is once you have Rustic installed, let's just go into a new terminal here and you'll see here we have Rustic, right? And we have some options. Oops, sorry about that. We have some options here. And the main ones being, uh, you know, backup, uh, init you will need, um, snapshots, obviously restore. There's also some pruning options. So you can find all this in the documentation and there's some uh, more uh, advanced um, syntaxes that you can use. But for our sake is, um, I have a digital ocean space that has uh, nothing in it right now. So what I'm gonna need to do uh, in order to, to back up my data is a couple of things. I'm going to remember, get the latest version of Go and install. Uh, and then I, this is what I use to install Rustic. I'm using Ubuntu 16, don't ask me why. I don't even know why I even installed the Ubuntu um, desktop manager because I really don't like it that much. But anyways, so <clears throat> you're gonna need to define some variables uh, in Linux. Um, now, if we're, so let's start with Linux. In Linux, you're gonna need to use the export command and you're gonna need to define these values, rustic underscore password, exactly as how you see it here, capitalized exactly with the quotes. So the rustic password, when you sign up for the service or any, uh, service that supports uh, Amazon S3 as well. Um, you're gonna need to create an encryption password. This is the password it's gonna use to encrypt and decrypt um, the data. Uh, Rustic repository is the location of where the, obviously the S3 compatible repository sits. Your uh, AWS access key, now in AWS's case, it would be their key. Um, you can also generate keys from DigitalOcean as well. Um, so you plop that in here and your AWS secret access key, which no one should know really any of this information. Maybe the repository is okay, but you really don't wanna give any of these out. You wanna keep these as secure as possible. So you put your uh, secret access key here defined uh, with this um, variable there. In Windows, you're gonna to need to use the set command, uh, which is basically equivalent to the export command in Linux. Um, one thing, please uh, use the set command with the uh, admin elevated command prompt. Um, better yet, go into system, ver system advanced or whatever and uh, define your, uh, define the variables there. Okay. So once you have these set, it's really, really easy and you've created your space or you've created your S3 bucket. 
Uh, you're just going to go into Restic and you're going to execute the following Restic in it. Now, the initialization, this is basically Restic initializing uh, what it needs on the in the bucket or in the space in order to start uh, backing up your data. So if we go Restic, oh, I don't know why. Uh, see, it should have pulled that from my variable, but something tells me my variable is off right now. Uh, I was in another terminal window. That's why that happened. It's not global. Anyways, I didn't add it to the bash thing. But anyways, uh, so as you can see here, it says create a Restic backend. There's the uh, serial number of the repository or the stamp or whatever. And there is the um, my space on DigitalOcean here. So now it says, please note that the knowledge of your password is required to access the repository. Losing your password means your data is irrecoverably lost. Okay, so what's next? So now that I know what I want to back up, uh, I'm just going to pull one of these. So I'm just going to hit Restic Backup and the uh, file, the path of the uh, folder I want to back up. And all I need to do is hit Enter. Now remember that this is going to be encrypted. I cannot restore without the... Uh, without my variables being correct, which were these, remember these need to be correct in order for me to restore. Now you can set this up as a cron job. You can set this up any way you like. I'm gonna hit enter, password is correct. And it's going to scan this folder, this long-term archive folder. And it's gonna see how big it is. And it's going to probably run some hash against it. And it's going to start backing up. And that's pretty much all you really need to know about Restic. I haven't been using it for very long. It's something new that I'm trying out. So I will let you guys know uh, if it works out well or if it doesn't. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Later.